The Western Caribbean Sea is currently home to a weather system that has the potential to become a significant threat. This system is being closely monitored by meteorologists and weather experts around the clock. The atmospheric conditions are ripe for development, and the warm waters of the Caribbean provide the perfect breeding ground for what could become a major storm. This system, dubbed Tropical Storm Helene, demands our attention. Named after the Greek goddess of the sun, Helene is anything but warm and inviting. It has already shown signs of strengthening and the potential for it to escalate into a more severe weather event is high. While still in its early stages, Helene could intensify into a powerful hurricane. The storm's development is being tracked meticulously with each passing hour providing new data. The speed at which it is gathering strength is alarming, and the atmospheric pressure changes indicate a rapid intensification. Its projected path puts Florida and the Gulf Coast in its crosshairs. The current models suggest a trajectory that could bring significant impacts to these regions. Coastal communities are particularly at risk and preparations are already underway to mitigate potential damage. The situation is dynamic and forecasts are constantly evolving. Meteorologists are using the latest technology to predict the storm's path and intensity, but nature often has a mind of its own. The unpredictability of such weather systems means that residents must stay alert and be ready to act at a moment's notice. Residents in the potential impact zone should stay vigilant and informed. Emergency services are advising people to have a plan in place, stock up on essential supplies and keep abreast of the latest weather updates. Community shelters are being prepared and evacuation routes are being reviewed to ensure everyone's safety. This essay will delve into the current understanding of Tropical Storm Helene, its potential path, and the possible impacts. We will explore the science behind storm formation, the factors contributing to Helene's growth, and the measures being taken to protect lives and property. Stay tuned as we navigate through the complexities of this looming threat. As of today, September 23, 2024, Helene holds the classification of a tropical storm. However, experts warn of its potential to morph into a full-fledged hurricane. This transformation could occur as Helene interacts with the warm waters of the Caribbean Sea. The Saffir Simpson hurricane wind scale classifies hurricanes into five categories based on wind speed. The higher the category, the more destructive the hurricane. Helene has the potential to reach a higher category, making its development a serious concern. Predicting the exact path of a tropical storm or hurricane is a complex task. Meteorologists rely on a combination of satellite data, historical weather patterns, and advanced computer models to make their predictions. Each of these elements plays a crucial role in understanding the storm's potential path and intensity. While sophisticated computer models provide guidance, there is always a degree of uncertainty. These models use various algorithms and data inputs to simulate the storm's behavior, but the atmosphere's inherent unpredictability means that no model can be 100% accurate. Currently, these models suggest a general trajectory for Helene. However, small changes in atmospheric conditions can lead to significant deviations in the storm's path. This is why continuous monitoring and updates are essential. The cone of uncertainty, a common feature on hurricane tracking maps, highlights this unpredictability. It shows the range of possible paths the storm might take based on current data and model predictions. It represents the range of possible paths the storm might take. The wider the cone, the greater the uncertainty. As new data comes in, the cone can shift, reflecting the latest predictions. As Helene moves closer to the U.S. mainland, the cone will narrow, providing a clearer picture of the areas most likely to be affected. This narrowing is a result of more accurate data and refined models, which help meteorologists give better guidance to those in the storm's potential path. Continuous updates and vigilance are key to staying informed and prepared. Several factors contribute to the intensification of tropical storms into hurricanes. Warm ocean water is one of the primary fuels. The Caribbean Sea, known for its balmy temperatures, provides an ideal environment for Helene to gather strength. Another factor is wind shear or the change in wind speed and direction with height. Low wind shear allows a hurricane to maintain its structure and intensify. Current forecasts suggest favorable wind shear conditions for Helene, 
increasing the likelihood of it becoming a powerful storm. Section 5. The Importance of Staying Informed In a rapidly evolving weather situation like this, information is key. Residents in potential impact zones should proactively seek updates from reliable sources. The National Hurricane Center, or NHC, is the authoritative voice on hurricane forecasts and warnings. Pay close attention to the NHC's advisories and discussions. They provide detailed information on the storm's track, intensity, and potential impacts. Additionally, local news outlets will broadcast localized information relevant to your specific area. Section 6. Bracing for Helene's Impact Should Helene make landfall as a hurricane, the impacts could be significant. High winds are a primary concern. Hurricane force winds can uproot trees, damage buildings, and cause widespread power outages. Coastal areas face the added threat of storm surge. This is an abnormal rise in sea level caused by the hurricane's powerful winds pushing water ashore. Storm surge can lead to catastrophic flooding, inundating homes, businesses, and infrastructure. Section 7. The Deluge and Its Dangers In this section, we will explore the various threats posed by heavy rainfall during hurricanes and tropical storms. Heavy rainfall is another hallmark of hurricanes. These storms can release an immense amount of water in a short period, overwhelming natural and man-made drainage systems. Helene is expected to bring torrential downpours, potentially leading to widespread flooding. This kind of rainfall can inundate urban areas, causing significant disruptions to daily life and posing serious risks to safety. Even areas far inland from the coast are susceptible to flooding from excessive rainfall. Rivers and streams can overflow their banks and low-lying areas can become submerged, affecting homes and infrastructure. Flash flooding a rapid and unexpected rise in water levels poses a significant danger. These floods can occur with little to no warning, catching residents off guard and making evacuation difficult. It can occur with little warning, turning dry areas into raging torrents in a matter of minutes. The speed and force of flash floods can sweep away vehicles, damage buildings, and create life-threatening situations. Be aware of your surroundings and never attempt to drive through flooded roadways. Water depth can be deceptive, and even a few inches of fast-moving water can carry away a car. Always heed warnings and take necessary precautions to stay safe during heavy rainfall events. Section 8. Preparing for the storm's fury. With the potential for a major hurricane looming, now is the time to prepare. If you live in an evacuation zone, have a plan in place. Know where you will go and how you will get there should an evacuation order be issued. Gather essential supplies including food, water, medication, batteries, and a first aid kit. Secure loose objects around your property that could become projectiles in high winds. Stay informed, stay prepared, and stay safe. Section 9. A Call for Vigilance and Action. Tropical Storm. Helene serves as a stark reminder of the power of nature and the importance of preparedness. While the exact path and intensity of the storm remain uncertain, the potential for a significant weather event is real. Now is not the time for complacency. Stay informed, take necessary precautions, and heed the advice of local authorities. By working together and taking proactive steps, we can minimize the risks and weather this potential storm. 